Hi, this is J.D. Ingram of the Charleston Pipe Band, and I want to welcome you to my series on how to be a great piper in three steps. As a refresher, here is the tree diagram for our three easy steps. Stay tuned as we dive into today's topic. Step three, part one, section two, stop clean. Why is it so important to stop clean? Well, thanks to a psychological phenomena called the recency effect, the final impression you leave on a listening audience is extra important because the last thing that people hear or see has a major impact on how people remember a performance. It's very similar to the primacy effect where people remember the first thing more than everything in the middle as well. Some drills we will go over to make sure that we are stopping cleanly. First, maintain full pressure all the way to the end. Don't let it die off. Second, stop precisely when you mean to, not before and not after. And third, avoid any of the follow-on drone sounds. We'll go over making sure the bag is empty enough that you're not going to get that. The drills. Practice playing your pipes at full pressure, but with the bag half full, so you can get the feel of relying on your arm without diminishing your tone. We'll test ourselves against a pressure gauge to make sure that we can do this. Second, we'll go through the cycle several times, but unlike when we were working on the strike in, we'll play enough of a tune that we go through multiple breathing cycles. It's very easy to do the strike in drill and cut off cleanly because you never blow into your pipes and you only play eight counts or 10 counts or something like that. We want to go through enough of a tune that our brain is in full playing mode and then we're preparing ourselves to stop. Here is the drills page that includes the stop clean drill. As you can see on the last line, there is a pipe band call off, the strike in, the E, and then I wrote out Scotland the Brave, one line, 16 counts of music, should be enough to get you through a full breathing cycle. We might play uh, two lines of Scotland the Brave, the first whole first part, or something like that, just to get you through a little bit more playing and uh, so we will try that out now.
thanks again for joining me this week, guys. As a refresher, we've been talking about step three, have good presentation. Part one, have good performance, where we talk about a good start, a good stop, and a consistent middle. And this week we focus specifically on the second part, stop clean. Because thanks to the recency effect, the last thing that people hear is going to be what they remember the most. Take care, guys.